if you are here then I believe you need a more recent activation key for maps update so let me show you what you need to do first of all you want to turn on your MMI system give it a couple of seconds to fully start and once it's on you want to enter the hidden red menu with button combination you want to push this switch forward and you want to pull this switch backwards you want to start with this one you want to keep this in this position for about three seconds and after those three seconds you will see a hidden red menu the red engineering menu on the display go to system go to activation keys and over here you have all the activation keys this one is for maps and we can see that it's pretty old next we want to go back go back check version information and over here we can check which firmware is running on the MMI system and you want to go to mephelper.com just to make sure that there's uh, no updates pending for your unit we want to work on a um, fresh uh, firmware not some old uh, firmware so I know that this one is fresh I've updated this uh, vehicle myself about a week ago and there's a video tutorial for you about this so once you are done with the firmware update and you know that you are running um, the latest one we can uh, go to the next step well first we want to exit the hidden red menu and once again you want to use this button combination for about three seconds and after this your MMI is back to normal now you want to prepare SD card with more incredible bash. This is a free third-party tool that will help you modify your system and over here on the, uh, on the right side I believe there's a section called releases and you want to download the most recent one extracted to an empty SD card and also you will need you will need this uh, package with patches and let me show you how the SD card should look like when you are ready with it. I'm directly on the SD card and I have all the all those folders over here, all those files and when you go to patches directory you will have all those patches. You don't need all of them, you need only the one with your firmware um, with your current firmware but if you just copy all of them you should be also fine. Uh, there's a video uh, explaining how to download this, how to prepare the SD card exactly and how to install this um, tool into the um, uh, MIB unit. But right now let's take the card and go back to the vehicle. SD card with the more incredible bash goes into the SD1 port of the my unit in the glove box and if you don't have this installed already you want to once again go into the hidden red menu and over here you will go to update the first position and select sd1 as the update source and you will go through the um, installation procedure we can also see free for all MIB launcher you want to go through the um, installation procedure. I will not do this right now because I've done it already. This tool is installed in the vehicle but once it's installed you don't want to remove the SD card if you want to use the tool. So once we are done with all of this I'm going to remove the SD card but right now it needs to be placed in the unit because uh, this tool will create a backup on the SD card and we will use those custom files from the SD card and install them in the unit. So right now only the tool is installed but no changes, no modifica modifications uh, had been done in, uh, in the vehicle. Once the more incredible bash is installed we want to go into hidden green menu and the button combination for this is left switch forward, right switch forward, start with the left switch and keep this uh, combination for about three seconds and after those three seconds we will see green engineering menu like this. We want to go over here to MIB, we want to scroll down uh, we want to um, read this and scroll down to the next screen and we have this patch unit AIO this means all in one this will create the patch and all the necessary um, changes that are required for the 
um, activation codes to be working. So let's go over here and we have this button, patch now. It will add codes, enable a couple of things and even more. Well, before I press the start button, I want to make sure that lights are off or the unnecessary um, power consumption um, uh, elements are off and fan control on minimum. I have engine on just to make sure that the voltage will not drop during the procedure. And right now I want to press patch. And right now I don't want to touch anything. We just need to wait. Things will be um, appearing over here and this will take five, maybe 10 minutes. So let's wait. I believe we can just scroll down. So let's scroll down to, to follow those messages. And we have some information about what's currently going on. And after a couple minutes, I will show you what's next. Okay, so about 15 minutes and this green screen popped in. So I believe we just need to wait a little bit longer. So the screen went down a couple minutes ago. So let's wake it up. Okay, looks like looks like all was done. Do we have sound? Yeah. Let's go into the hidden red menu and let's check if we have new activation codes over here. So, system activation keys and here it is this is the one that we needed so right now you can go back to miphelper.com and there are update packages uh, over there to download from the official servers from Volkswagen, Audi, Seat and Skoda servers all those uh, brands are using the same navigation database so it doesn't matter uh, which one you pick those are the same files just on different servers so I believe right now all I need to do is update maps. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you soon.